Okay, now that we have each of the graphics set up, where we have the, the base color for the character, we have that masking effect, and then we have uh, the accent color. Now we really just need to get in and adjust each of those accent colors so that it visually represents uh, the percentage that you're working with. So if you look at the, the final example right here, we're working with uh, four values, 25% all the way up to 60, and each of these uh, accent graphics has been adjusted to represent that percentage. Okay, so jump back to our slide. Now the easiest way to do that is just to work with some basic lines and then space those out and then have each line uh, represent either a percentage or a, a number value. So real quick, I'm just going to select everything here and press Control G. Just wanna make one big object out of this, gonna keep everything a little bit neater on the slide. So go ahead and select, uh, insert a line and hold the shift key down if you wanna constrain it. Now with this first one, I'm just going to align this here with the top of the head, and I'm going to create 10 more. So I actually have a total of, of 11 lines. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, and then 11. So 11 actually gives me a value of each of each of these is going to be 10. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100 percent. So I'm going to shift click each of these and distribute them vertically. And in this example, I'm not using the lines as part of my design. You may want the lines, in which case you might choose appropriate color, move them to the back. And let me just uh, arrange these vertically. But we're just using this more for uh, a quick guide just to help us uh, position each of our numbers. So go ahead and just insert a value. Because I do want to use, I do want to use an actual a number value for each of these. Okay. And I can just put one here and then uh, copy it up to the other ones. Okay, so there's our numbers. And now it's just a matter of getting into each of these shapes and uh, selecting them and, and, and adjusting that accent graphic. I'm going to actually move, I'm going to group each of these lines as a single object and then I'll send it to the back. Because in this case, we're really just using it for uh, just a visual reference. So control G, right click and choose send to back. Now I can select each of these graphics. So I see that the first one is 25. If I double click this, I can select just the accent graphic and right there in between 20 and 30%. And let's do the next one. So that's 30%, we have a line for that. Get this at 50, right? So there's 50 and it's not gonna be in the middle because that would be 55. So I can just come down here somewhere right below. If you hold down your Alt key, you can remove the snap to grid or snap to objects. So I'll just go to 50 and just go a, just a hinchy pinch taller. And then finally for 60%. Okay, so at least I know that these are uh, proportionate, right, to the, the, the percentage that I'm working with, but you may want to get more specific, in which case you could count up by fives or do something even uh, just at, at that many more of your graphics. And so what I'll do is remove Send it back. If I open up my selection pane here, selection pane, I can find my straight lines and turn those off. And now I have a nice little visual representation of the percentages. Whether or not I keep these numbers is fine, but at least I know that um, when these are all placed next to each other, the uh, emphasis graphic is accurate based on uh, the other graphics I'm using.